Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage. We're working today. Um, I've received my Ryobi 18 volt 10 inch string trimmer. So basically, it's a battery powered weed eater. And uh, the funny thing is about the Ryobi products is that you can buy some of them in the store, um, and the other ones you can buy online. So to get this particular model, this is a P2003A. Uh, to get this model in the store, the same model, um, but it comes with the battery and the charger, it's $120 or something. And then uh, to get the cheapest model here, well this is Canadian prices too, so bear that in mind. Uh, to get the cheapest battery one in the store is $100. Bucks. You buy it online for $89, so it's $99 versus $89. And this one, I got it without the uh, battery pack and without the charger, and it was only $39. And the shipping, it cost me $5 to have it shipped. So basically $45 plus taxes, and that, that's half, less than half the price of buying it in the store with the charger and stuff. So I already have the, the Riley Supercharger, I have batteries. Um, I don't need anything else, I just need the tool. So here's the tool in the box. I'll pop this out, I haven't even opened it yet. And then, oh, look at that. It is the cheap one. Aha, uh -huh. they've got the pictures wrong. All right, so the picture that they show for the P2003 isn't the same <laughs> online. Funny, when I ordered it, I think the picture was right, but now it's different. Anyway, so here we go. Let's crack this open. So you have your string trimmer cover. Uh, oh, and it has a real razor blade in it. That's nice. Got a couple of screws here. Instructions and warranty. The operator's manual. Boy, thank goodness they gave me a manual. I'm sure this is going to be difficult to figure out. What the heck is going on here? Oh, okay. Cardboard. Where's my knife? cover so it doesn't get messed up. No. Here you can see they've got a bunch of grease on the handle so that it doesn't get stuck in the tool and it's got a locking release here. Interesting. All right and then it comes folded up. Oh and you can turn it. All right, that was ridiculously difficult to put together. So they have these locking tabs, and inside there's the wire, and the wire's like a, an old telephone cord that's spiraled. And what happens is it gets jammed in between the sides. So you have to look inside here, as this is coming in, and you actually have to use a screwdriver and move the cord out of the way so it doesn't get stuck like mine got stuck. Anyway, it's assembled. And it has this little thing, 180 degrees, it says here. And so if you want to turn it, you squeeze the tabs, and then you can just turn the handle, and then it becomes an edger. Right? So you can edge your grass with it like this. And you probably should try to remember which way you've turned it so you don't keep turning the wire inside until you screw that up. So, anyway. Anyway, that's it. It's kind of heavy at the bottom. I would have liked the handle to have been out a little f further. I would like the different handle. Um, and then the bottom piece. Okay. We'll squeeze the two tabs. That should come off. There we go. And that reveals your line in the bottom which is pretty standard stuff here. So 
I'll put this back in place. And this, is this not a bump trimmer? I don't think it is. What's this? Hmm. I'll have to consult manual for that. The hell is that? I've never had one that wasn't a bump trimmer. It looks like, oh, okay. So this little button here, you have to press it and you can release the string. Well, that's different. So it's not a bump trimmer. I don't know how long this thing's going to last. That's a concern. Now this, I have to put this uh, grass shield on. It comes with tiny little screws. There we go. Now these are like the self-threading plastic screws. This whole thing is made out of plastic. Um, you'll find a lot of the new products are going to be more plastic. So if you think to yourself, oh, I don't want that crappy Ryobi plastic one. Well, a lot of the other ones will eventually become plastic. So don't be surprised if it happens to you. So you might think to yourself, well, why would you want a battery powered uh, string trimmer? Well, I have kids. I don't want to do the lawn myself. I have uh, young teenagers and I had a gas powered one and it was difficult for them to use so only the oldest one could use it really and even then it was a pain for him because this is what's nice about the Ryobi system everything works together right? and it's the one plus system the plus is just the lithium ion batteries these lithium ion batteries are so much better than ICAD batteries so it doesn't matter what brand you buy, stay away from NICAD, get the lithium ion. They're significantly superior. And pop that in. And that doesn't look very well. There we go. Ah, it's larger than I expected. That's probably from the string. Let's cut a little piece more of that string off. Now let's see what it sounds like. Still noisier than I expected. No, that's still, the screen is still longer. All right. One more time. All right. So, interesting. I, uh, I'll take this out and try it out and uh, give you the rest of the review on it. So far, it's pretty lightweight, and I'll get one of the kids to use it, and we'll see how that goes. All right, and I've got the lighter weight battery on it, the small battery, and this one, I don't know, I haven't charged it in months probably, so we'll see how, how well it goes. I have another one, so it's all good. All right, so, so far, first impressions, uh, relatively light. Um, the only difficulty in assembling it was keeping the wire back. So you got to make sure you, you push that wire back, probably use like a, a screwdriver. Um, the handle, not the best handle position. It should be all right for me. We'll see about the kids. I would like a bigger adjustable handle. Uh, they have another model like that. And then, uh, you know, it's got a safety lock here to here. I don't know why. Um, who's really, I don't know why you need a safety one for that. It just doesn't make any sense. If you really wanted safe, you'd have one hand, here, one uh, release here, and then lock that there. But really, for a weed eater, he needs it. And then uh, the rotation, so you can do edging along like the sidewalk or your driveway. You flip it backwards instead of turning the whole thing and trying to do it like this. All right? It's kind of an neat feature. We'll see how it works. All right. So round one, unboxing. Round two, using.
that edging feature, that edging feature is really good. That's way nicer. Hey, final thoughts on the Ryobi uh, string trimmer. Um, I really like it. It's pretty lightweight. Uh, I use just a lightweight battery on this one. I don't use the, the uh, long running battery. Um, it's a little different uh, compared to regular trimmers um, in its construction because it's all plastic. I, actually, I guess a lot of them are going that way. Um, this one has a rotating head, which I showed you earlier, and that's good for edging. So that actually, at first it was really hard to do that and twist the head around, but now it's nice and easy. I guess it's worn in a little bit. Um, I've used it quite a bit. Um, one of the features that I thought was really weird about it is the auto string feeder. Uh, every time you press the trigger, it's supposed to release that quarter of an inch. Uh, if it doesn't release enough string, there's actually a release tab here. You press the tab and pull the string. It doesn't have the bump head on it at all. That's a different brand, so I don't know whether they just couldn't use it because of patent purposes or uh, they didn't like the idea or whatever. But anyway, it doesn't have it. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's got a comfortable height for me. Uh, maybe if you're really tall, you might punch over a little bit. It's not as powerful as a gas trimmer, surprise, uh, but it is pretty much equivalent to any electric trimmer, right? So if you have a corded trimmer at home, this would be pretty much equivalent to that. So I'm very happy with it. Um, like I say, going from a gas powered uh, trimmer with two lines to this, it's a bit of a difference. So, and if you've got like a really big lawn and you're in a rush to get it done, get a gas trimmer. This is for smaller, you know, lots, uh, people that don't want to use a corded trimmer, don't want to use an, like a, a gas trimmer, or don't want to deal with, uh, you know, say for example, your wife putting four stroke gas in your two stroke gas trimmer, or your two stroke oil in your four-stroke lawnmower, for example. So this eliminates those problems, which is nice. And uh, it's easy for the kids to use, which is perfect because you don't want to have to do all the work yourself, right? You got kids, put them to work. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm very happy with it. So I would give this one a two thumbs up. I do really enjoy it. They do have some other ones uh, available, a couple of different models. I believe they have a hybrid as well, um, which would be more of the same and it would come with like a, a plug-in that you could plug in a cord just in case you run out of battery power. I have a few batteries so I'm never going to run out of power which is good. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I'd give it two thumbs up. I like it. So I'm happy with it. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching.